Hey guys and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Today I'm going to show you how to get to the most fundamentally perfect setup you can as a hitter. So this is going to be your most basic level of setup which you know that's exact it's the exact setup I used to hit with and ex exact setup a lot of really good hitters use. Now I know there's a lot of funky stances out there you know with the big you know sways and all that stuff but you know how they say like every good hitter gets to about the same position. Well this is going to be your base to start out with. So if you're, if, you want, if you're looking for somewhere to start, this is a great place. And you start off and do a really good fundamental setup and you work from there. And then from there, you can start to develop your own feel. So if you want to chart, change your stance a little bit to, um, you know, maybe a little more open stance, something like that, you know, you can from this basic setup, but you want to have a good base to start with. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now, the first thing we're going to start with is uh, our body alignment and it's going to be very simple if we take a line and we draw it straight through the center of the field through home plate all the way through center field that creates a line and what we want to do when we, when we hit is we want to stand parallel to that line um, we want our toes parallel to that line and we want our toes pointing directly in front of us in this basic setup okay so we don't want to have our feet open i call this duck feet and we don't want to have our feet pigeon toed and you can guess what I call this, right? Pigeon feet. So feet straight in front of us, parallel to the center line and we want our hips and our shoulders parallel to that line as well. So if we weren't holding the bat at all, our feet would be straight in front of us, feet, hips and shoulders all parallel to this line. Okay, now from there we got to worry about stance width. Okay, now there's a couple of different parameters that you can do with stance width because, you know, some guys like to stand a little straighter and some guys like to spread out a little bit more, but how much is the right amount? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a minimum and a maximum. So your minimum would be, we want our feet minimally, minimally be, to be a little bit outside or right on our shoulder line. And what that is, if you draw a line straight up from your ankles, straight through the sky, they should be touching or just a little bit outside of your shoulders in the setup. Okay, so I'm draw a couple lines right here. You can see that they're either right on it or just a little bit outside of, of my shoulders at setup, and that'll be your minimum. Okay, we don't, if we go any further in than that, then we're just gonna stand up too tall. Now our width, our stance width, is gonna be based off of our bat. That's a great way to determine our, uh, our stance width because if we have the proper uh, bat um, length, then we have about the proper length, uh, width that we can gauge for our maximum stance width. Now my bat's about 34 inches and how you gauge a good bat length is if you can comfortably hold the knob of the, the bat in the palm of your hand, just standing straight up and down. So if you're having to manipulate your arm or bend your elbow to get the knob, the bat might be a little too long, but that's a pretty good gauge for that. So, you know, if you like to use a longer, shorter bat, then you can, it's not perfect, but you wanna have about that height of a bat to use. And what you can do is you can set that bat down and put it on the insides of your feet. Okay, hope you guys can see this right here. And that's gonna be about your maximum stance width. Okay, if we go any wider than that, we're really gonna cut off the hips and immobilize the hips and the swing and you know sacrifice a big power source. So that's gonna be our, about our max width in the stance for, for the, this basic setup. Okay, now, now that we've got our feet, hip, and shoulders lined up, and we've got our stance width, okay, well just real quick with the stance width, we want to be, just have a light, nice, nice slight bend in our knees. We don't want to be locked legged where we have our knees straight out, and we don't want to be squatting either. We just want just a nice slight bend, athletic stance in our knees. Okay, I like to tell my guys, you know, if you're guarding someone in basketball, you're not going to guard them like this, and you're not going to guard them straight legged. You're going to be nice and slightly bent, and that's a great way to gauge where you want your knees to be or your legs to feel in the stance. Now all we have to do from here, now we're all lined up, all we have to do is worry about what our hands are doing and where they are. So a great, the best way to do this I've always found is if you, you, everybody has collarbones and they all run into your shoulder. So your back shoulder and your swing, if you're right handed, it's gonna be your right shoulder. Left hand is gonna be your left shoulder. There, the collarbone runs right up in your shoulder and there's a little bump right on top of your shoulder where the collarbone ends in your shoulder and that's where we want to use to get the proper hand height and distance from our body. So what we want to do is we want to take the bat and we want to lay it flat, so parallel with the ground. So right here and we want to lay that bat right on top of that collarbone and we want to point it directly behind us so we don't want it 
pointing this way or this way. We want it pointing straight in front and behind us, laying right on that collarbone, okay? And we want our hands to be any, about a baseball and a half, anywhere from a baseball to maximum two baseballs away from our body, okay? And then from there, the only thing we have left to do is just lift our hands straight up, and that's it, okay? Now, things you wanna make sure you're not doing there is you don't wanna take your hands and push them away from your body when you lift them up or drop them down here and lift them up. We're just simply taking our hands, leaving our left hand exactly where it is and raising the bat. So that's a good gauge right there. Your left hand doesn't move and the right hand lifts the bat up off of the shoulder. And now, if you do all these things, we'll do it all right here real quick, okay? Feet, hip, shoulders all lined up with this parallel line. Okay, we got a good stance width with a nice slight bend in our knees. We lay the bat down parallel on that collarbone and we lift straight up without moving that left hand. And now we're in a great, great setup to hit the ball. Now, now that you guys know how to get into the, the best fundamental setup, from there you can hit from that position and start working in that position. And if you wanna change it up a little bit here and there, that's where you do it from. You start off at a really good place and then you spread out. But I'll tell you what, once you get into those positions and you keep them and you work from them, it's gonna be hard to get away from them because it's just set up so perfectly to maximize your potential at the plate. Like, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions or comments on the setup or anything else, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them personally and stay tuned. I'm gonna play a bonus clip out of one of the videos in our power hitting series. You can click on the link that pops up in that preview or in the description below, and you can see that entire video plus the entire power hitting series absolutely free of charge. It's a great deal. It's, got a, it's a great series. It's got a lot of great technique field drills to help you pick up bat speed and get into great positions. Uh, if you guys could like, subscribe, plus one this video on Google, that really helps me grow the channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Good luck with your games, and I'll see you guys soon. Our body's the engine. It's gonna be the thing that gets us a lot of power. And the reason, the most common reason of casting is because we get these shoulders spun right here, and what we have to do now is rip the shoulders open to get our hands back to the, the ball, and we cre create centrifugal force, and now our hands have to go away from our body to get to the ball. Now to fix this, the first thing we're gonna